hey everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and today i am going to discuss about the bodhi linux new release 7.0 yes i am waiting for a long time for this distribution to come out its stable version yes now it has finally released so the bodhi linux 7.0 stable version is released it is based on the ubuntu lts 22.04 version and the desktop it is using is called moksha desktop it is actually a fork of enlightenment desktop environment so basically all the terms in the bodhi linux is inspired by the buddhism okay the term enlightenment or moksha or bodhi all things actually uh, you will find in the buddhism okay so that's a fact and uh, now uh, i will talk about the operating system and this is very much uh, uh, lightweight operating system with uh, some uh, minimal uh, tools uh, pre-installed but you have a huge collection of softwares so you can install it so first of all let's see that from where you can download so this is the official website bodhilinux.com and just click download here well you have three options so standard release and hwv release and the s76 release so this is the standard release with the kernel 5.15 and hwv release uh, you are getting the latest kernel with 6.2 kernel and another kernel is s76 kernel this is actually a bleeding edge kernel so the size is 1.3 gb so yes you can uh, install it very easily it is very much lightweight and also some 32 bit version is also there so now uh, first of all i will use the s76 kernel version so i will download this so you can download directly or uh, you can download that or you can just uh, click download and it will be downloaded from the sourceforge website and after downloading the iso you have to make a bootable pen drive if you want to uh, if you want to install both the linux in uh, your uh, real hardware real computer so i have set up in the virtual box okay so let's start the bodhi linux or boot the bodhi linux in the uefi firmware i am showing you how to install it in uefi firmware because modern computers have the uefi system okay so let's boot it this is really nice plymouth theme so this is really nice now i have to choose the system language so english is the default and uh, there's the keyboard so english us is okay moksha desktop is starting now and this is the moksha desktop you can see now i can adjust the resolution for my laptop so this is the full screen view uh, you can see of my bodhi linux so to install the bodhi linux uh, just uh, double click here and so installer will start this is basically a calamiars installer so it is very easy to use i'm just showing you guys so this is the installer and uh, english continue continue and now uh, you can download while installing uh, okay you can download updates okay but for now i'm just disabling it and install third party software uh, this uh, you just click uh, tick so so some proprietary softwares will be installed that will be very much useful continue okay now you can erase the whole disk and install bodhi but if you have uh, multiple operating system or you have already some operating system then you have to do something else and you have to create manual partitioning but uh, for now i'm just erasing whole disk and installing bodhi so install now and you can see uh, two uh, partitions will be created one is esp partition one is ext4 of course you can uh, create a swap partition also if you need that so i'm just currently going to continue and now you can see you have to cho choose time zone so i'm from india so i'm choosing that indian time zone kolkata and i have to create my username and i have to choose a password continue well now you can see the copying files that is the installation has started now you have to wait for some time to completely install now installation has completed and now uh, i have to restart my system and then i will show you guys uh, 
the whole experience of the Bodhi Linux. So after reboot, okay, this is the login screen you can see here and uh, I'm entering the password and this is the Bodhi Linux Moksha desktop. Okay, but uh, first of all, I'm just uh, showing you guys the default uh, theme. Okay, so welcome to the Bodhi Linux and this theme is called Moksha Green. Okay, so and this is an analog clock you can see and these are the four virtual desktops here. You can switch uh, over here and this is the Moksha desktop. Okay, so if you click anywhere in the uh, desktop, so you are getting this menu. Okay, so this menu uh, you can get here. Okay, by default, a uh, very minimal uh, software are uh, installed uh, with, with this uh, operating system. But of course, it is Ubuntu based and also some extra repository of the Bodhi Linux. So you can uh, install a huge collection of software. So first of all, what you have to do that you have to first open up the uh, Synaptic Package Manager. So basically, I am going here System Tools and this is the Synaptic Package Manager and uh, I am entering the password. And first of all, you have to uh, reload all the latest information that is uh, either you can uh, run a sudo apt update command in the terminal or you just uh, reload it. Okay, and you can see a 72,730 packages. Okay, uh, you are getting here. So a huge, huge collection of softwares you can install here. But uh, only the theme Moksha Green is installed here. But you can install uh, another theme. Okay, a, a, a lot of other themes I'm just showing you guys. Okay, but first of all, uh, let me show you guys the terminology. This is the uh, terminal emulator of the uh, of the operating system and this is this is very much good looking okay you can see this is the flashing uh, cursor and uh, you can see the typing and if you are doing some wrong thing so uh, uh, this nice animation and sound will appear so this terminology is awesome and you uh, you can uh, customize uh, different thing uh, you can basically uh, configure the terminology in the settings so you have a lot of option uh, to to configure right so that's that's an amazing terminal emulator you can see uh, you can try it okay now uh, first of all uh, i'm going to show you guys the how you can install the new themes in bodhi linux so i'm going to the search option in the synaptic package manager so basically uh, you you have to install the bodhi theme pack okay so bodhi theme pack you just uh, write and uh, yes you can see this this package bodhi theme pack you have to install this package and uh, with this actually a lot of themes will be installed in your bodhi system and you can uh, change the look uh, very easily and i am showing you guys so just uh, click here in the desktop and uh, in the setting uh, this is the theme so all these themes are now installed and this is the moksha green this is the default theme and a lot of other themes you can see here right Moksha Blue Electric. Just click here and in no time the new theme will appear here. So you can see this is very nice looking. Okay, so all things are changed quite a lot. And second theme is uh, suppose uh, uh, Moonlight, Moksha Moonlight. And this is also very awesome. Okay, and you can see cursor has also changed. Okay, and uh, this animation <laughs> this animation is uh, very nice and uh, yes and and this animation is also really different one so this is our default theme moksha green and uh, now i'm showing you guys some customization option so here you are getting the quick uh, uh, quick launcher and uh, here uh, you can search for uh, any software okay there is a web browser manager Okay, so here basically you can install any web browser of your choice. Okay, so a lot of web browsers is there. So Brave is very good. Opera is very good. Now let's see the uh, settings. Okay, so the settings panel. Okay, so this is the setting panel and you can see. And uh, uh, this, uh, so the first one, first tab is look. So you can change the wallpaper, Moksha theme and, and, and GTK theme. Basically, you can you can see a lot of gtk themes are there sorry i have to apply it and this is you can see so you can you can change uh, to various themes right so you can see that 
so by this way you can change themes and also you can change icons so i'm just showing you guys so you can you can see you can change icons here fonts okay so you can choose uh, different fonts if if this for fonts are small to you then you can switch to the big font okay and apply it so all things will be bigger and better to understand preferences this is very much interesting in the preferences so this is the elementary configuration so in the elementary configuration uh, you can do many things okay you can change themes and icons from here also fonts and colors and audio profile and more other options uh, you are getting as rendering so you can change the rendering okay so no acceleration there so open gl 3d whatever rendering you prefer you can do that and now i'm showing you the current information of my system so this is both the linux 7.0 uh, for the 64-bit operating system i'm running in virtual box and the kernel because three flavors of both the linux available to download i have downloaded the s76 kernel version this is the latest kernel version 6.4.6 .6. you can see this is the kernel and uh, this is the shell bash shell it is using desktop environment of course uh, it is enlightenment uh, and it is moksha desktop this is the fork of enlightenment desktop environment window manager is moksha uh, and the themes and icons all things you can see and uh, this is my cpu and the ram usage you can see this is the 372 uh, maybe byte or almost you can uh, you can say almost 400 megabytes of ram on mb of ram it is using so it is pretty much lightweight in nature so if you have one gb ram in your system so that will be very much good uh, to run this operating system so that's an, that's an amazing thing so all these specifications are really awesome for this operating system so those who need uh, and who love the ubuntu operating system and use and uh, want to use a something different look okay you preferably uh, you know the gnome the kd the xfc okay but the enlightenment or moksha desktop is rare basically uh, very few operating systems are there who use uh, those are used uh, those use the uh, moksha or enlightenment uh, elite is there another operating system this is debian based and enlightenment desktop environment okay and both the linux is one of the unique distros so here a huge collection of software and also uh, there is, there are no snaps so to uh, to use this operating system you don't uh, need to bother about the snaps because you don't need snaps basically uh, separate repositories are available uh, for the replacement of the snaps so without snaps you can use and uh, the both strategy is to use the ubuntu lts so always lts version of the ubuntu and uh, you are getting here uh, with the both linux so long term support so that that is that is very awesome thing okay so now let's see some customization options in the shelf but basically this is the panel and this is called the shelf and uh, the settings are here and you can see uh, this is the setting uh, stacking and the position uh, you have a lot of position this is the bottom position uh, this is the up position so if you apply this so it will it will move okay so default is this and also the size so basically you can adjust the uh, size that is the height of this uh, panel or shelf and icon size and if you click here and uh, shrink to the content width so it will shrink and you can see it looks really nice right and also uh, some style you can see some styles are there and auto hide okay you can you can do it okay auto hide and these are uh, show on all the desktop okay so these uh, you can see and also uh, if you want to add add something in the shelf so you can see yeah shelf and uh, contents so these are all contents so you can add some new contents here all right so this shelf is really looking nice and the uh, look of this uh, shell uh, changes uh, by applying some new themes now i'm showing you guys the good way to change the themes of the uh, moksha desktop okay so for this uh, you have to go to the setting panel and here you can see this is the moksha theme so click here and this is really nice 
interface you are getting here so all these themes and the uh, uh, preview of that look will be will be shown here so uh, this is the uh, so you can see a different different themes and the uh, preview you can see here right you can see so all these themes are in, uh, have installed with the bodhi theme pack so all these moksha themes uh, you are getting right and uh, and this uh, looks really nice so if you want to change the theme you have to just uh, apply it okay so just uh, apply here and you can see uh, the whole things are turning new okay so that's amazing to look at and uh, this is the amazing way to change the themes uh, I want to show another theme suppose this moonlight theme and you can see the cursor also changed so that's amazing and this bodhi uh, Linux and this moksha desktop is uh, looks amazing really and this is the analog clock you you can click here so you will see the calendar and the analog clock uh, there are settings so you can make it a digital clock okay but I think analog clock uh, looks really well here so this is very beautiful desktop no doubt about it and this is very much lightweight also you can see some uh, four virtual desktops are there and also in the moksha theme uh, this is the basic mode and you can change it to the advanced mode okay so many things you can do from this advanced mode and if you uh, are not an, an expert of linux so i uh, will recommend to always use the basic mode if you want to see more about the operating system so you need to go to about operating system and about bodhi linux so you can see this is the about section of the bodhi linux and also in the uh, about moksha desktop so you can see this is the moksha desktop version 0 0.4.0 and bodhi linux is 7.0.0 .0. so tell me uh, uh, your opinion about this bodhi linux i think it is uh, an amazing operating system and uh, if you like this video then of course uh, hit the like button and subscribe my channel uh, you can support me and uh, so thanks for watching guys and see you in a next video very soon till then take care and goodbye